Hey guys, welcome back to this week's portfolio update. I had a lot of stuff to talk about, but I think the news of the hour is going to be Palantir. Let's go through. Let's go through the portfolio first. Uh, we took a bit of a hit versus last week, but we're still holding strong. Uh, AT and T is still hanging in there, and we're starting to claw back. It was, I mean, it was in the twenties, and it lost all of its gains, uh, all of its uh, post earnings gains, and now it's climbing its way back. It's been a pretty good week so far. But, I mean, not as good as Palantir. Like, Palantir right now is up 13.6, after hours. And for a really, really good reason. Now, I'm recording this on earnings. So, I mean, you've listened to a Palantir earnings before. Like, they, they, they have a knack for talking themselves into problems. So, I want to start things off right here by saying that Palantir has done the unthinkable. I mean... I'm just as surprised as you are, but Palantir is actually profitable this quarter by gap. That not even non-gap, gap. Palantir actually turned a profit. So if you take a look at here, they're reporting 508 in revenue versus 502 expected, so they beat on that. And they actually beat EP, uh, adjusted EPS. Where is it? Uh 4 cents versus three cents now i made a, a video uh just a little bit ago talking about palantir uh missing like every single eps earnings like the, the last four and for palantir to actually beat it i mean it shows palantir actually coming together like as we you know claw our way out of inflation and all this bad market and stuff like that you know the economy I mean, you can see Palantir's strength really showing. And all those news, news articles and stuff about all these deals Palantir is making, like we're actually starting to see the fruits of it. Now, full year, uh, 1.9 versus, I mean, 1.9 expected. And as far as EPS, they, yeah, they actually, yeah, they actually beat on EPS too. I mean, that's pretty good now as far as outlook just by q1 they came in a little light so they're expecting 503 through 507 versus 520 expected 2023 they're talking 2.1 to 2.2 uh so you know you know a little light on the guidance but i think right now everyone is happy that palantir is actually profitable this quarter and as am i so yeah, this was a good earning so far. Hopefully Palantir doesn't ruin it all on the call. But anyways, take care, have a great day, and eat your vegetables.